we made it to the end of the month we did it well almost we've got one day to go but tomorrow is sunday and i don't plan on spending anything or going anywhere on sunday we'll get paid on monday we know how much hubby's getting um so yeah let's see how we closed out the month of march of the last week of march anyway so we rolled over 142 pound I was kindly gifted £20 by somebody and I'm going to show you where that's going to go in a minute. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Savings. I used £20 out of the penny challenge in the £20 note I found. I brought that in. Side hustle. I'm vinted. £17. And so the income total, we had planned 142 Actually, I had £199 came in. YouTube premium went out. Our TV care package went out. So the bills total was 16.59, which left us with 182. Food, we went over. We had planned 65 pound. We actually spent 85 pound 86. Now I'm going to put a photo in. Those yellow stickers were amazing. Joints of beef for like two pound thirty and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So needless to say, we'll grab them. We did end up going over budget because of that. Uh, I had literally made a really, really strict shopping list of just my pack lunch stuff and things like that. But that is something that we will use to feed the family, whether we're chopping up for curries or make beef chilies or make beef roast dinners. We will use that. So that was a brilliant saving. Um, petrol, we put £40 and two pence in. Uh, home essentials, £8.93. Um, toilet rolls, painkillers, tin foil, kitchen roll, we needed all that kind of stuff. Pets, we hadn't predicted anything. We thought we're done with the pets for the month, but my daughter hadn't told us because she does the, the cat litter. We're out of cat litter. And I was like, and you wait until you emptied the tray and there was none left to tell us there's none left. Anyway, so we needed cat litter, 6 .89. Booze and takeaway, didn't spend anything. Hubby's actually not had a drink for two weeks. Well done him. Um, he wants to lose a little bit of weight, so we'll see how he goes with that. Gifts and given, we hadn't put anything in. We hadn't spent anything either. Um, miscellaneous, £8.73 went out. So our envelopes total was £150.53 instead of the £125. That left us with £31.88. So then, the gifted money I got, the £20, somebody kindly, one of my subscribers said because I couldn't put into the kids or the graduation money this week actually I haven't filled it in here they gifted me that to put in so I'm going to do that with you now so thank you so much that was very very kind of you to do that and um, because since January I haven't missed a week of doing that and um, oh, put that in the wrong one I'll put that in school lunch graduation is 10 and visit home is 10 um, so I'll do that now. So that was £20 in sink funds. Left us with £11.88. Um, I think there's actually slightly more than that left. Not much more. I'll show you in a minute what's left. But first things first, I'm going to put that money that was gifted as intended where it was meant to go. So thank you to the person, I won't name you, who did that. Um honestly that was just so so kind so we're going to put 10 pound in the graduation there we go i'm going to put 10 pound into visit home pop that in here i'm going to mark that off and what we're doing we're doing orange now So thank you for that. I will have to be looking at flights or ferries very soon. Get prices for that. Right, so I will show you in cash what we have left and the side hustle money. And we'll decide where we're going to be popping that. If you want to know how I managed this week, actually I'm going to show you what we did. So at the start of the week I went through the basics and the freezer to see what we had. So I'll show you here now. We had turkey steaks in the freezer and um, that were yellow stickered from Little. Um, we had three packs of them, two packs of turkey mince. We had a, a 
chilli con carne that I'd already made and batch cooked. There was four chicken breasts, there was two packs of chicken thighs, there was a pack of the sausages which had gluten in so I wouldn't be able to have those ones. There was this braising steak, loads of frozen fruit and veg, there was roasties, sweet potato fries, waffles, smileys, a little bit of rice. Um, and the ready meals was a curry and there was four pastas so that's what the kids would have sometimes. Basics in the cupboard that we had that I tend to try and always keep. Pasta and gluten free pasta, rice, tinned tomatoes, lentils, beans, butter. Um, we had a big huge tray of eggs my father-in-law brought from the farm and um, that was amazing so that really came in handy through the week. Porridge and gluten free porridge, wheat bix herb spices, stir fry sachets, onions and carrots so that's what we had. So with that a meal planned and on the Monday we're having the chilli and rice that I defrosted the one that was already made so there was no spend there because we used the rice we already had. Tuesday we had planned to have the sausages that were in the fridge or the chicken breasts and make like a roast dinner. End up being a hell of a just ridiculous busy day. Came in really late, made scrambled eggs and toast so that was a no spend day. The little one we just wanted pasta. Um, Wednesday Sorry, I thought there was someone at the door there. Um, turkey steak stir fry so and rice. Um, this, my little lad had his curry, the ready meal curry out of the freezer. He has his favourite curry. Um, so all we needed to buy for that one was stir fry veg, which was a pound. Um, Thursday, we had planned out a turkey mince bolognese and pasta. We swapped it over with Friday because it was a busy, busy day. Um, and we ended up having, the little one had pizzas and we had like, I had waffles, beans and eggs. I didn't have waffles. I think I ended up having toast. Um, again, beans and eggs and toast, which was actually very nice. Um, Hubby was also happy enough with that. So we swapped those two days over. And then yesterday we had the turkey mince bolognese and pasta. So all we had to buy for those two days was the pizza for the kids. Um, Saturday, that's today, chicken thigh, curry and rice. That's no spend. We don't need anything. We've already got that. And then Sunday, um, tomorrow, the braised and steak, roasties and frozen veg. All I had to buy was gravy. Um, what I did need to buy in the shops where the money went was pack lunch stuff. So I needed salady stuff, fruit, um, I needed big things of milk, a couple of loaves of bread, some sandwich meat, um, croissants, brioches. Um, what else did I get? Gluten-free bread. Um, we needed crisps. Uh, cheese the kids go through loads of cheese um, them little mini sausages and chickens for the pack lunches and pepperonis some smoothies for the little one to get fruit into them um, yogurt what else we get some honey nut cereal um, and then the household stuff I've already gone through and gluten free cereal so that's where our money went on food this week so that's how we managed anyway so it's ended up might not have been the best of menu, but we got through the week and it was fine. The fed were and we're happy enough. So the vintage money I brought in seventeen pound. So there's our vintage money. So we're going to decide where that is going to go. So do you know what? We will roll a dice. We'll play a little game. We've got to the end of the month and we haven't been able to do any games. So let's do a game. So we need a six-sided dice. So I will use this one. And we'll see which savings challenge we're going to do. So we've got a five. So which one is number five? Where's the lie? So I will add five pound for every lie. And we're going to do a pound for everything that's not a lie. So we need a thing. So let's do this one here. I can play a musical instrument. Hmm. I can play two songs, very small ones, on a piano, on a keyboard. Does that count? I'm going to say that count. It's I can play Amazing Grace and um, do you remember that one the, um, when you were a kid at um, Assembly, Colours of Day? That one. Yeah, anyway. I can't remember the whole song. But yeah, I can play that a little bit as well, like a couple of verses of that. So I'm going to say yes, I can. So I'm going to put a pound in there. I know it's not technically like playing a musical instrument, but it's playing a couple of songs. Number four. Block drop. 
haven't started this one yet so this is nice so choose your level right we'll do the first one okay roll a dice so we need a colored dice okay we've got a colored dice and find the corresponding shape in the same color okay and then save the cash right so let's see if we can work this one out where's the cut all right okay there's the colors there right so let's see so yellow so that's square so that's nice and easy so we'll start off with a square and we're going to go right at the early ones down here so that's one two three four five six that's six pound we're going to pop into there So there we go, we'll start a block drop with six pound. I'm so excited actually doing savings challenges again. I think they're gonna be few and far between, but we shall see. Number five again. Where's the lie? Okay, let's try another one of these. I'll go down this corner one here. I don't eat meat. <laughs> well that's a lie because I do eat meat I've just told you my shopping list so you know I eat meat so that is a lie so I've got to save five pounds for that one okay pop five pound in there let's hope I don't get that challenge again number one the toast one by Soph's Budget and Life so which one we'll do first that's a high one. We can't do that one yet. Can't do that one yet. Can't do that one yet. They're all high. We'll do the, the low one first. So every slice counts. So we're just going to do a pound. I'm going to colour it in with butter so it's yellow. My son calls it yellow toast. If I ask if he wants toast, yes, he says, can I have some yellow toast? <laughs> it just means he wants butter on. Oh, he has peanut butter toast. But yellow toast is butter toast. So there we go. We'll start at that one. Got four pound left. Can we do it this way? Let's see. Number three. Two. Three. Fuzzy run. Okay. Well, we've only got four pounds, so let's see what we'll get. Three. Hmm. Hang on a second. Let's see if I can make change. This is ice cream money here. Yeah. I'm going to put four pounds there and take them out. Right, so I've got three pound for fuzzy run. And because the yellow pen is out, I'm just going to use the yellow pen again. There we go. So we'll pop the three into there. I've got a pound left. I don't see there's any point in rolling the dice because I don't think any of these are a pound let's see so let's just do a carnival one and we'll do the pound on there there we go so that was the vintage money went into savings challenges i also have the money left what was spare at the end of the week so this is literally all we have spare um, I did put some into the bank on Roundup, hang on. Sorry, I was trying to do it as quiet as possible. But I find my list. Um, £1.93 was my Roundup, my digital Roundup. So the bank account is now empty because it's been rounded up. In there, 193. So we've got 1993. So minus 93. Well, obviously, that's a pound. And we'll do 92 minus 0.92, which leaves us with 8 pence. 6, 7, 8. There we go. Let's see, we've already done this once and saved 50 pound. So we're doing it again on a digital. So this is all the cash that was left at the end of the week. And we are starting April, well, 25th of March, but our April budget 
we're going from absolutely zero, totally wiped out, to starting again, if that makes sense. Obviously, we've got money and savings. So there's one, two, three, four. Right, there's five pound we can play with. And like I said, we're not doing the penny challenge anymore. We're just going to pop it in there, the pig. Um, and we're still to choose a name. So if you didn't see the previous video, I would like you to name this pig. This is the vintage 1980s Nat West pig that my mum had since I was a child. I remember it in my bedroom. And she kept it in the loft all these years. And on my 40th birthday, she presented me with this. And a lot of other stuff as well. She didn't just give us my money box back. <laughs> it was really nice. It was really nostalgic. Um, so yeah, if you can think of a cute name for the Nat West pig, let me know in the comments. There we go. So as I say, we're not counting that loose change anymore. We're not doing a penny challenge with it. We're just going to put loose change in there until he's full and then empty it out and see what I've got. Um, so we do have five pounds left here. Um, you know what? I might put it in save the air just so we saved something. Will I? Yes, I think I will because it's the only month I hadn't saved anything. Um, each letter is three pound. Uh, that's annoying. Right. Okay. Well. I'm going to save three pound then. I know I could put the other two pound in, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to spoil what the challenge tells us to do. I'm just being a bit weird like that. So we're going to put the two pound into here. Let's see if we can roll the dice. I'm not sure. It depends where it lands. Number two. Mm, is there any of these for two pound? Ah, there is. We can start this one. Cheapest chips by Cash But Cute. Uh, we can start. And the gravy is two pound. Or can do mushy peas is two pound. Let's do mushy peas and let's colour the peas in this one. I love mushy peas. Oh, I love them. My husband hates me. Thinks they're gross. I think they're amazing. There's two pound going in mushy peas. Have that mushy peas in ages. <sighs> nice. So there we go. We ended up March. We got through to the end of the month. We kept everyone fed. We kept the roof over our head. We didn't get into any more debt. And we even managed just a couple of little cheap savings challenges right at the end. So here's to a better month. Thanks for all your support, guys. Um, Keep, keep it going, please. Um, it, it really just gives us loads and loads of incentive. Um, knowing you're all behind us and sort of just keeping us going. Um, it has been super hard, but we're not going to dwell on it. We're going to class April. It's a new financial year. Um, with us working in finance now, it's a lot of talk about this is the end of the year, even though it's like April coming up. But I think that's perfect for me because we're restarting with budget, we're savings, all that kind of thing in April. So, yeah, start a new financial year for myself as well. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.